The movie is Eddie and the Cruisers, and it's a bit of rock and roll nostalgia mixed up with a mystery, asking the question, what really happened that night in the early 60s when rock and roll star Eddie Wilson drove off a bridge and apparently died, but his body was never found. Mm. Yeah. Now, a journalist is trying to solve the mystery of Eddie and the Cruisers. She likes their music, and we spent a lot of time in flashes back to the 60s listening to the band creating their hits. In this scene, the band gets a new songwriter. <laughs> Not bad. What? I said not bad. <laughs> not bad? Eddie, what's with you? The kid can't play, he can't sing, and he can't write. So what's not bad? He's got something we need. Like what? Words and music, Doc. Words and music. All right, now let's get on with the music. See what I'm doing? Do it like I'm doing it. It's rock and roll. All right? Do that. Yeah, come on. Go. 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 And now it's a band, and that's their song. As enjoyable as the film is, this film turns out to be much ado about nothing, really. What really happened is not revealed precisely at the end of the picture, and we walk out of the theater feeling like we were sort of played for suckers. Also, the film fails to explain what really made Eddie and the Cruisers so special, so worthy of this film. They're a decent rock group. They have one certifiable hit song. If it came out today, that was it. But one song isn't enough to justify a movie, particularly this movie. I kind of agree with you. I thought it was a real disappointment. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised, though, that Eddie and the Cruisers were big in the movie, as you seem to be, because mm -hmm. I like the music all the way through. And it's mm -hmm. done, by the way, on the soundtrack mm -hmm. by an East Coast musician named John Cafferty, who was mm -hmm. really good. And I mm -hmm. like the soundtrack of this movie, yes. but I'd never like to see it again because the ending is so anticlimactic. I mean, mm -hmm. we're waiting for this big, enormous, earth-shaking revelation and what happens is just a dumb plot twist. Yes, and all the characters that we meet en route to the ending, uh -huh. all the people that belong to his band who are getting together for some kind of reunion, they're all waiting too about mm -hmm. something, something about a missing tape or something like this. And you're right, so every character's waiting, we're waiting, and then it's nothing at the end, a better soundtrack than a script. Big anticlimax. I mean, neither one of us liked Eddie and the Cruisers, an anticlimactic rock and roll saga. Two thumbs down.